Hi there. So you bought yourself a Combi 2 or Raspi stick to control your Zigbee devices in Home Assistant using decons. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set this up. If you use a Combi or Raspi stick to connect your Zigbee devices to Home Assistant, you can use a plugin that's called decons. Decons is especially written for these sticks. If you look at the information about decons, you see that it doesn't support so many coordinators, only the Combi and Raspi sticks. But it does support a lot of devices, so it still can be a good choice to install in Home Assistant if you use a Raspi or Combi stick. Let's set it up. For that, we go to Configuration, Add-ons, Backups and Supervisor, and we go to the Add-on Store. And there we are going to search for Decons. And we are going to install Decons. Click on Install. After it's installed, I'm going to Configuration. I'm going to select the stick, which in my case is the Combi 2 stick. Click on Save. And I always fill in these ports. Click on Save To. Now we go to Info. And we are going to tick all the boxes here. Click on Start. And now we are going to configure decons in Home Assistant. So we go to Configuration, Devices and Services. We are going to Add an Integration. Decons. Click on Decons. And now the integration is asking us for Discover Decons Gateway. In my experience, this is not always the right one. So let's find out what is the right IP address. So for that, we go to Decons over here. We're going to click on Foscon. I will type in the password. Click Next. And now you see an IP address over here. And this is the IP address that we should use in the integration in Home Assistant. So let's copy this. Now go back to Configuration, Devices and Services, Add Integration, Search for Integration, Decons. And I'm going to say manually define gateway, submit. The host is that IP address that I just copied. And the port is 40850. Click on submit. Now we have to go back to our decons plugin to unlock the decons gateway to register with Home Assistant. So I'm opening a new tab. I'm going to Decons, Foscon. Now I log in. Click on Login. I'm going to skip this, proceed without lights. I'm also going to skip the Create First Group. Now I'm going to the Hamburger menu. I'm clicking on Gateway. I'm going to Advanced and I'm clicking on Authenticate App. Now I go back to my Home Assistant configuration and I click Submit. And you see that it is successfully set up now. So I click on Finish. And now Decons is set up in Home Assistant. Let's add some devices to it. To add devices to Decons, we are going to Decons, click on Foscon, I'm going to skip this, I'm going to click on Lights, and now I'm going to click on Add New Lights. And now I'm going to put my light bulb into pairing mode so that Decons can find my light. Yes, it found my light, so I can stop 
searching for lights and I'm going to give it a different name let's say IKEA light bulb I'm going to rename it and now my light is registered into Decons let's see if we can find it in Home Assistant so go to configuration we go to devices and services and now we're going to the Decons integration and we click on reload here okay now we're going to devices and you can see that the IKEA light bulb is over here and I can turn it off and I can turn it on let's go to the Lovelace dashboard create a dashboard for this edit dashboard add a tab let's call this one decons save I'm going to add a card and in this case an entity card I'm going to call it light and we're going to search for IKEA light bulb save it done and you see that I have my light bulb over here and I can also change the color and what have you so now let's connect the motion sensor to decons we go again to decons we are going to foscon I'm going to skip this we're going to the menu and we are going to sensors now we are going to click on add new sensor clicking for an other sensor and I'm putting my sensor into pairing mode now so the motion sensor is detected let's give it a different name let's say Akara motion sensor I'm going to rename it let's see if we can find it in home assistant so we go to configuration devices and services I'm just going to click reload here on the decons integration now go to devices and you see that the Akara motion sensor is here and that it has some entities and everything is here so let's add it to our Lovelace dashboard click on decons tab click on the three dots edit dashboard I'm going to add the card entities title motion sensor I'm going to select all the Akara entities so this is the motion sensor itself this is the temperature this is the light level and this is the battery level save it so now you see that the motion sensor is also connected to home assistant using decons let's set up the smart plug now for the smart plug we are going to decons again we're going to foscon and the thing with the smart plug that has power metering is that you have to connect it twice once as a light and once as a sensor so i'm going to click lights and i'm going to say add new lights and now i'm going to put my smart plug into pairing mode and there it is let's give it a different name rename and now I'm going to pair it again but then as a sensor I'm going to sensors I'm going to click add new sensor other and I will put my power plug into pairing mode again now it says sensor ready but you don't see anything here and that's normal I mean it doesn't look normal but it will work you can check it by going to decons and then click on decons instead of foscon and then you will see the smart plug here and this is the sensor part of this smart plug so it's a little bit iffy but it will work so let's go to home assistant to see if it works go to configuration 
go to devices and services, again reload the decons, and then go to devices. Then you see the Blitzwolf smart plug over here, and you see it has some information. It has a sensor here. Also, if you go to entities and if you sort your entities on the integration, you see there is more information there from that power plug, which is the consumption in this case. So let's go over to Home Assistant and go to the Lovelace dashboard that we created, go to Decons, going to add the dashboard, add a card, and again to Entities, call this one Smart Plug. And let's choose the Blitzwolf Smart Plug. And let's choose the power metering, which is this one. Save it. Done. So now we integrated the light, the motion sensor, and the smart plug into Home Assistant using decons. Let's turn this off. Let's create an automation to see if that works too. Now we go to configuration. We go to automations and scenes. We're going to create an automation. Start with an empty automation. Switch based on motion. Let's say the motion sensor started detecting motion or the motion sensor stopped detecting motion device IKEA light bulb should toggle at action device smart plug should also toggle save it it's a simple example again and go to overview decons and you see that there's no motion detected now so let's move a little bit in front of the motion detector. You see it gets detected and the light bulb turns on and the smart plug turns on too. So this is how you can set up decons in Home Assistant to control your combi or recipe stick. You can see the devices, you can see some entities, you can create automations. So if you have a recipe or combi stick, you might want to use decons to set it up. If this video helped you and it saved you some time, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, tick on the notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!